talking. Okay, today what I'm going to do is something very interesting, and that is I'm going to talk about Mixcraft video ed editing and what, why, and how would you want to use it, and uh, what can it actually do. Well, first of all, you can splice the video and uh, edit the video soundtrack so you can kind of cut it up and, and uh, piece it all together. And you can also take the, the audio tracks and you can use any of the, effect, the effects of Mixcraft that you want on the audio tracks if you have a video with audio. I want to give you an example. My example is that I'm recording an arrangement that I made of a Christmas song, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. The problem is that I've just created this and I haven't practiced it. So what I want to do is I'm going to record it and when I make a mistake I'm just going to go back and uh, replay it and and then I'm going to take all those pieces and piece them together. So I want to do that in the video at the same time as with the audio. Now I'm recording the audio track separately so I can get a, a higher quality audio. This is where Mixcraft shines and uh, you can bring in your audio files and you can bring in your video files, you line them up, and then you can start chopping them up, and then you can keep all of those parts together, which is the big advantage of editing video in Mixcraft. Let me show you how. So on the screen here, I've got Mixcraft open, and I have a couple of audio files. I actually originally recorded these directly into Mixcraft, but for this demonstration, I'm just gonna show you the process that I made. So I'm gonna drag these two files over into Mixcraft. That's the two tracks. Now these weren't the most optimum tracks, but I'm just going to use these for the example. I'm going to take the video now, which also has a soundtrack with it. Uh, it you know, the microphone was, was recording, so that gives an opportunity, once this thing processes, and we'll see it on the screen in a minute, I'll be able to see the soundtrack, and then I can align the soundtracks that I recorded separately with the, the video soundtrack. Okay, so here we've got both the tracks on the video. So I'm gonna, let me just shrink this up so that I can see. I'm gonna expand these tracks a little bit so I can at least uh, see the waveform. Now, you'll notice that these are not the most optimum. I didn't have the volume settings correct, but uh, one advantage of this is that there's gonna be no clipping. So this area here should be lined up with that area there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to see if I can identify, well, first of all, what I can do is, I can do this. I can do that and select these two tracks, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut those out. So I'm going to do Control T on that one. Make sure those are selected. Hit the Delete button, and then let's drag this one to round about there. Now what I can do is here, since I've got the audio tracks separately, I think I can just make those a bit bigger so we can see that. So I'm just expanding this so that I can be very precise about this. Let's see if I can line these up so that these are pretty good. Now one thing, uh, when you got snap to grid, I'm going to snap to eight, uh, 64th notes, which which will allow me to to uh, have the most freedom to the most freedom of, of uh, moving this uh, this cursor around, but also give the ability to snap precisely. All right, so I'm lining that up, and th this is all right. So that looks pretty good. Let's. How about the beginning of the wave? We'll just try. That's perfect. All right, so I'm I'm using the middle mouse. I'm going to just scroll this back, and the place where it should want to begin is right there. So I'm, this time I'm going to go Control A and I'm going to go Control T. So Control A selects everything. Control T is uh, doing a splice. I'm going to delete that and then so I'm going to drag this one. I'm going to drag these separately. Now these two, what I found is the the video and the audio, they are they're linked but sometimes you but you can actually edit them both separately. Scroll down a little bit. Here's the other tracks. Now I didn't get rid of that one before, so I'm going to delete that one. These other two tracks right here, this one, that one. I'm going to drag those over. Here's the video track. Here's the audio track of the video. And here are the two 
other inputs which you have one coming direct from the guitar and one with the microphone so so these these are the tracks I'm gonna edit and make nice and I'll show you that in a minute but I just want to show you one thing here that you can click on this one show video and I'm just gonna play this just so that you can see how this works all right so this is okay so that that's that so so you can see everything sounds okay and everything seems to be working okay at the moment so I'm gonna switch now to the video that I edited and then you can see the amount of uh, cutting and, and uh, you know splicing together I did on this video here we are in the file I created before and I'm gonna just play this so you can so so this one I have added a number of effects and things and that's playing along with I should actually show this one just to show how it how it how it looks together now what I can't do in this is is do any cropping zooming um, adding video effects and things like that that I'm going to do in another program but that's basically what you can do so let's see what what we need to do next is if I want to take this and output this what I will do is just the same way that you do with your audio track you say mix down two and then you notice down here underneath the audio format you've got three types of video format so I'm going to do the the WMV which I believe is going to be the most is going to be the highest quality because I'm going to, going to take that into my other software for editing and then I'm going to be able to uh, make the video look a little bit better so click on this one and it does take a little bit of time so I'm going to actually I'm going to wipe out this previous one that's there and just record to that one because I actually did a few few edits uh, since I recorded that one okay so it says it's going to replace it and so if you look down here it does take a little bit of time you can see that it processed it and now now it's doing some rendering so that's basically how you use Mixcraft for video and audio and it's a great tool because now you can take your edited audio your nicely massaged audio and you can take it into your video editing software and don't, not have to worry about it so this is it so this is the final video it with the sound editing is like this and I'm going to take this video and I'm going to use that in a, in a finished video so you can see all the, the edits I'm gonna there are some parts where you spliced everything together of course it's not gonna be smooth so if I really want to smooth that out I can use use the effects inside of my video editing software which I actually use power director but but that's another story so I hope you found this useful I'm also gonna post this as a tutorial for this song so that you can learn to play this on guitar if you want so if you like this video and you want to see more of my stuff that I put out please hit the subscribe button if you like this video hit the thumbs up and uh, post a comment if you're if you have any questions down below and remember stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you soon Talk it. Talk it.